Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I was going to start about a minute ago. <laughs> and then my upstairs neighbors started either moving around furniture or they're just completely redecorating because all I could hear was like wood and chairs and tables. I think they're still going right now. I don't know if you all can hear it, but let me know. Uh, <laughs> not super, not super uh, convenient for streaming, but it is what it is. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome to this impromptu stream. I, I was going to actually stream earlier today, but then a meeting I had for this morning got switched around uh, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and that just kind of screws up my uh, my afternoon. Uh, I hate having to wait for a meeting till the afternoon, but it's okay. It's fine. We're okay. We're alive. Uh, and I got everything. Well, I got I got most stuff done. I didn't get everything done I want to do today, but that's because I wanted to take a nap at like 2:30 and listen to music, and I did. But that's not why we're here. We're here because I had a very stupid idea last night uh, to play Sky, but to not use any winged light. And I've thought of this before, I've just never done it. And I, I just, I would have this idea and then when I would play, I just would completely forget about it or just not be interested. But I thought of it last night and I considered waiting until next Wednesday to do it, but I don't have any plans for the night, so this is, I really want to do this. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to go. I don't even know if I'm going to try and go through every single section, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do my best. And we're just going to see how it goes. And y'all going to be on this trip with me if you want to stick around. Uh, and if y'all want to stick around in the future, feel free to slap that follow button. Uh, doing my climb for affiliate right now. And I appreciate y'all hanging out along the way. But without further ado, because I don't have much preamble today, um, it looks like we got a quiet chat as well. So let's roll into the video game. Uh, let's see here. I also, I've been having problems uh, while I was getting everything set up for the streams. I would always have an issue when I would try to hook up my Shadowcast game capture. And I remember having problems with this before when I previously streamed last year. And I could never figure out how to like make it work. It would always take like a weird set of finagling to actually get the Shadowcast to work. And I finally realized that if I just flop, flip around the properties a bit for my Shadowcast, like moving it from the Shadowcast in my sources, to like the OBS camera and then back to it real quick, it'd pop up. It just needs to basically be kicked. I don't know why that's how it is, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. It's a pretty simple solution, even though it's a bit annoying, but you know, you, you'll live, you'll live. And also let me know if the audio is good as well. I didn't finagle with it too much last night, but I did add some new music to my like waiting scenes and my chat scene. So if the audio is a bit quiet or a bit loud, do let me know. It's a pretty easy fix on my end. And also, uh, the streams are closed captioned supported. So if you like using closed captions or you just need them, you can check out down below. And you should be able to... At least what I'm saying. This game doesn't use any speaking, so there should not be any issues in terms of understanding what's being said in the game. I don't have a means of getting a, tr uh, what's the right word for it? A transcript for the sounds happening, but it's, it's polish. It's not too much informational, and definitely not today. We're not going to be seeing too much information today. Hello, friend. Yeah. Oh, that was literally a thing for today. Let me kiss. Let me give you a little kiss, Aru. Oh, my friend. I feel like we're like a light fairy and a dark fairy. Let me give you a name. Let me give you an name switch. I'll I'll fix that later. Let me do that real 
Like, how do I, where's my wave? Ugh, I can't find it. Yeah. There we go. Is that a thing? It was, okay, that's, that's why. Uh, bow at a player and then wave at a player. I love when the candles for the day are just nice and quick. Uh, I'm not planning on doing my uh, my dailies immediately. I'm gonna save that for later. I need to figure out what this person is. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I literally was like on you. Let me rewrite your name. I'm gonna call you, uh, I'm gonna call you Navi actually. No, I'm gonna call you Galinda. Galinda the Good Witch. There we go. And like always, everyone must say, must give me a little light before they are able to become a good friend. Quickly pick up a couple of these. No, we're not even gonna, we're not gonna fill the heart today. I'll do these later. I'll do this after stream. Relive memory. Oh my God, I can almost get everything done so quickly i love it okay allow me to lay out the parameters of what i'm going to be doing here today hello chat oh my god <laughs> uh let me lay out the parameters of what i'm doing here today i am going to be trying to clear as much of the game as possible without utilizing any winged light. And to be very specific about this, I was thinking about it last night and this morning about what the specific parameters were going to be. I can jump. Wait, no, that's the wrong button. The B button, because I'm on the Switch, that's how I'm playing it. You can play it on a lot of different platforms, but for Switch, pressing the B button allows you to jump. This is fine. Th that's fine. Holding down the B button, it burns your winged light. That's what you're seeing at the top middle of the screen, that little shape. And that allows you to kick off into flight. Now, let me get to a position where I'm not. Okay. So right now, I am up on a cliff. I'm up on a cliff face. If I hit the B button, I jump... And that allows me to have some amount of flight, but I'm not using winged light. I'm not burning any of my own power in order to do that. That I am allowing, because that's essentially falling with style, and I'm going to let that happen. I can't control the wind currents. I can't tell the wind to stop happening. But I'm going to see how much of this game I can actually get through without using any winged light. And to even further specify, since I don't have a new file... I can potentially get through some cutscenes in Isle of the Dawn that I wouldn't be able to if this was a fresh file. So this is not like just point blank from a new file, can you do this? This is specifically, can you just do this at all? I don't actually know if I can get past a section in Isle of Dawn without using winged light, but we're gonna see. Uh, but without further ado, we're gonna start going. I don't, I don't have high hopes for this section in particular. And this is honestly, this is the one section where I'm a bit unsure if I'm going to be able to do it. Let me see. I'm going to... What are you doing? I'm going to just recharge the light so there's not really a question of if I'm using it at all. Because you're going to be able to immediately tell if I use any of it because one of those pillars is going to go black. Or at least dim. It's going to dim. I've got... Can I swim? I think... No, it's not going to let me do it. Because I know that this is... An, uh, it's a bit of a mountain and that water goes out around it my current plan right now is to see how far i can get up this mountain side 
and not have to go through the front, not actually go through it, because it can kind of lock you into a scene. Might be stuck here. Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to work. I'm going to have to go through. I thought maybe, but I wasn't super confident that this workaround was going to work. So we're going to go through now. It's actually been a while since I've ex thoroughly explored Isle of the Dawn. And I believe I heard that the events after the current one is going to take place in Isle of the Dawn. The current one is taking place in... Uh, it's taking place in the vault. Okay. I do need this. Since I just went through Eden, I can pick up Wind Light again. So, what in the world? Oh, there's people up here. I'm going to pick this up simply because I don't want to have to go back through here again. There is one on top of the mountain that I'm going to leave for now. Because I don't want to I don't want to mess with things too much. We're just gonna swim. Come on. Come on. It's giving me some time. Uh, come on, come on. Ugh. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. So that's a no go. Back down. Back we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, can I dive? Can I dive and get underneath the water? I just need to power through this. Is this working at all? I don't think it is. I think I'm drowning. I am drowning. Okay. okay. Can I bounce up this? That's not working. Okay, so it looks like swimming isn't going to work. That was interesting. I did not expect them to have that going there. It's an interesting blocker. And this section, it makes sense that this might not be able to be traversable without using winged light. Simply because the point of this spot is to teach you how to fly. You are forced to learn the mechanic in order to escape the the crevice. But I can yell. That okay. We're in it, gamers. And I can have to just start running now. I'm running over here because I want to get the winged light over here, and I don't want it to come back. I don't know if I want to use winged light just to move faster, because I feel like that defeats the whole premise, even though it's only a speed thing. I think this is fine. I'm going to continue to go at, about on foot just to see how this game is without it. I got me light. All I'd love to do today is a spirit in Daylight Prairie is actually going to be really easy. That'll be really nice and simple. Now here is the 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 complete, full, proper potential just buffer in this section. Oh, Kitty is just roaming. What is this? I can't reach that. <gasps> oh, Mimi, you're so quick and so agile. She ran up her little cat tree. Okay, so this section, I'm decently concerned might not be plausible. I think it could be, because if I can get into the clouds over there, then I will be able to have, like... That's a word for it. Um, if I get into the clouds, they can catch me in a wind drift, and I might be just start flying. So we're going to see how that goes. 
Let's go fly a kite. Da 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 da. Can I fly over the barrier? Interesting. There's normally a barrier you have to burn past, and I know you can get high enough to not have to deal with it. I didn't realize you can go through it without having to pick up any winged light. You want without having to. The fact that you can get over that barrier without having to use winged light is interesting. This is gonna be like use use B to fly. No winged light usage. Interesting. Okay. So it does seem like you can just jump. Again, I don't know how it's going to be from a fresh file. I'm now tempted to try from a fresh file. The reason why I'm not super interested in trying from a fresh file right now is... I'm trying to think. What is it? I think it's... I actually don't know. I don't know if you actually have to collect spirits to get through the game. It might just be that first area. But I can get through it. Um, I don't know if I really want to do the middle section. I'll do it. I'll, I'll go through it purely just to, just to see. Just to see, can I get through this game without having to do... What is this? Okay, that lit up. And that lit up. It's been a while since I've actually been in this temple. What do you do? You. Come here, little guy. Come here. Come here. Uh, I'm actually gonna real quick... One moment. Turn me off. That's the wrong thing. Where's my face? There's my face. Okay. One moment. I want to change something real quick. Let's see here. Somewhere here. Back in it, boys. One second, let me minimize this. There we go. There we go. We're all back and good. I wanted to switch over. Uh, most of my expressions are I have to hold it down in order for it to go, but I wanted the surprised face to be a prep, just a, a click, and then you can click it off. And there we go. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Never mind. Let me do that one more time. Apologies for <laughs> apologies for doing all this stuff on stream. Uh, but I need to fix this. Is this gonna work? No. Let me see here. Here. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Here. Great, great, we're good. Okay, I'm back in it, boys. Well, that was almost gonna be a problem. What was happening was I had set my neutral face to control A, which is not useful. Um, not that it's not useful, but it's it's more that it's detrimental. And it was selecting all of my sources, which is not exactly what I need. Uh, we need to get the 
wall just got scenes because this is not a story run this is a how much can I do dumb stuff run let's get out of here I think this is the longest cutscene the longest between granted it's actually been quite a while before I've tried to traverse between sections only have to jump. There's so many people playing games right now. We got so many gamers in the house. Normally I would try to turn off my internet to not have that happen, but uh, I have to have internet on for this game because it is a, I believe the term is MMO. Like World of Warcraft and whatnot. It's real people online who are also playing the game. I will say, anyone who is interested in this game, it's completely free. And it's one of the only Nintendo well, games on the Nintendo Switch that I have run into that allows you to use internet functions without having to have s Nintendo online. So you don't even like you don't even have to have the services. Why they don't have it? I don't actually know. I would have assumed that if you're using the Switch and you want to use internet service, I assumed that internet services were like actively locked behind Nintendo Online. So seeing that you have to have on you have to have Nintendo online for online services in the game makes it seem like it's a deliberate choice so things like Splatoon forcing you to have Nintendo online is now a bit clear that that's more of a choice either Nintendo's working out or something but it does seem like it's not a fixed thing and that you have to have Nintendo online so anytime you run into games now you see that you have to have Nintendo online to do something Know that it's possible you don't have to have it, at least in the the, the the company side. I'm assuming that any game that has it maybe gets a cut, but I don't know. And I'm not going to say that this game is, like, not trying to take money from you. Here, here's, my, here's my take on this game, and I think I mentioned this the other night as well. It's a great game. It's a beautiful game. I think the devs have strayed away from their premise. And again, beat a jump. I don't have to fly. I just have to jump. It's also a double candle event right now. If anyone is interested in this game, we're near the last quarter of an event. It's got about 20 ish days left normally the events last around 75 80 days we're in the last quarter and it's a double candle event right now so any temporary candles that spawn every day be them event candles or cake candles there's going to be double the amount out in the world for you to grab so right now is a fantastic time to join the game there is also a mini event happening at the end of one of the levels where old uh old event sp spirits are here for you to hang out with get the uh, what are they called get the emotes from and get some cool outfits if you're able to pick up some candles quickly either picking them up in the world or buying them which is an option it's not one i would recommend but it is out there but yeah now is a great time to jump in and maybe we'll run into each other I have a long-standing idea that I hope to do someday in Sky, and it's more gonna depend on if I'm able to start accruing more of an audience. My hope one day is to run a scavenger hunt in Sky, because you can have the... Oh, follow the spirit. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Where did it go? Oh, he finished it. Okay. So, there is an item in the game that allows you to put down a candle that you can record a message. You can record a message and 
some emotes that you do. It's these little like messages, memory messages that you can place in the world. And I've always had this idea of wanting to rig some up in the world and do something like a scavenger hunt with it, where I have them out in the world and put little riddles on them that will lead people to different spots in the, in the world. And some of them might be in more normal areas, some of them might be in hidden spots, some of them might just be in cool little areas. And it's something I've always been... What, did, what happened? Oh, it finished up. And it's something I've always wanted to do, and I haven't had a ton of friends who played the game, so it was not something I was really able to do previously. Oh, voice is going out. <clears throat> but I think it would be really cool once I have more of an audience uh, more regularly and more people who come to my streams to have to, to set up a scavenger hunt. And, I don't know, maybe the prize would be, uh, like a, a free commission or something. I'm not quite sure what it would be. But I think that would be really fun. Just to see people, you know, go around and, like, take, fi find these little spots, you know? I, I just, oh, what happened? I just, I just think it would be great. What is this? Hello? Okay. <laughs> that took a hot second. I cannot remember the buttons. That's the problem with me in my brain is I don't actively remember what my buttons are. Like I don't actively remember, oh, I, like I showed earlier, I, I didn't actively remember that pushing B was what allowed me to jump and fly. But if I just picked up a set of controllers and went to go play the game, my muscle memory would sure remember. <sighs> We've got some winged light over here. Surely this will be helpful in my venture today. It's a good point, actually. There's a couple winged light that I think I can grab. There's one on top of here. I think I can call some butterflies. Ooh yes. I really am pleasantly surprised. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. The end of... The very end of the... The... Valley of, Vic Valley of Victory? Valley of Triumph. The very end of the Valley of Triumph used to be a set of stairs that leads you up to the final spot. But in the recent event with Aurora... They added a new aspect to it where there's a stage at the back of the area. And I remember I remember when I saw that going up and I was interacting with it, I had a thought of if you're not able to recharge your wing, you might not be able to clear the level. Which I'm now wondering how I'm wondering if that might actually be a problem. Cause I don't I don't personally remember a way up right now without having to fly up and I don't often do the races in Valley of Triumph but I'm gonna try today if we end up getting over there I think we will because after this is the forest and let's see how far we're going we've been going for about 30 minutes and I did not have dinner to... I didn't, haven't had... I had lunch. Yeah, I had lunch. I'm gonna need to jump off at some point to get food. Hello. I feel bad. They're, they're trying to get help. And I'm trying to do a very stupid challenge. And... Okay, we got that done. Is this the one? Okay, let me get it away from here. I think, I think both of these still have to go. Oh, there's little birds going off that are making their calls. I'm gonna burn some candles, and burn the darkness in order to call the manta rays. So that's not all of them, is it? No, there's still one left. Come on. 
Come on, there we go. I'm kind of surprised right now how little I feel like I'm missing out without having the flight. It certainly makes the game slower, but... I mean, it's not like this game is abhorrent to look at. Okay, I'm gonna get kidnapped. Come on, come on. Let's go, Papa John. Where are you? Come on. Don't make me work for it. Oh, you bad. There we go. I've so many times just been existing in this area, and the the colloquial term it's been referred to as being kidnapped by these manta rays, because it like it grabs onto you so you don't flop off very easily, which is super nice in the case of you know not just falling off, but man when you're not wanting. <laughs> When you're not wanting to be grabbed by the mana ray, you are going to get grabbed if you are just barely too close. And that one mana ray used to go just through the island completely, which wasn't super helpful. Uh, but it's very funny <laughs> to watch people get grabbed and it's like, no, <laughs> let me go. <laughs> let me go. Come here. I want... Give me the candle. I want some candle, please. Thank you. And we are... Getting out. Not even 30 minutes into this effort. Are we 30 minutes into the stream? Okay, we have my recordings at like 32 minutes, which I think I started about a minute after I started recording, because... About as soon as I hit the record button, my upstairs neighbor started moving stuff around, and I didn't exactly want that on the recording, so it took a minute. Can I shoot? Nope. Nope. We're gonna sit here and let the recharge. No flying. We yell. There we go. Here we go, we're heading to the forest. I think we just transition to the next room. Yeah? Yeah. I missed a candle! Shoot. I will deal with that later. This is the section where we're getting double cake candles today. A woohoo! I actually, I made a plan last night. And I'm honestly, I'm considering, can I actually do that? Let me see this. I've got manage goals. Can I do that one real quick, actually? Uh, edit stream information. I'll do this later. I'm going to reset my goal because um, I don't know what's, what is up with whatever, whatever the situation is. Uh, you need to have accrued 50 followers in order to unlock affiliate along with other stuff but the main hurdle is going to be the followers for me because you have to get like five people talking at once within the past 30 days along with streaming seven different days but also at least I think 20 hours there's a lot of very specific requirements you have to make, but one of them that's probably the most difficult is you have to accrue 50 followers. And along with affiliate, I was kind of thinking I wanted some sort of goal to have. And I think what I want to do is once I reach 50 followers, I want to... Oh, this is going to today okay these doors are fun but as i was saying once i reach 50 followers oh, 
that was convenient. I want to make a new outfit for my my VTuber. And for for myself, I'm gonna make a new outfit for myself. And I want to do a like a jester outfit. Either either a jester or a clown. My thoughts are that I would come up with some sketches, some some costume designs and set it up for chat to vote on. And I'm locked in, so if there's any cake candles outside, I'm not getting them. But I wanted to leave it to whatever community I have accrued uh, to vote on, because I think that would be fun. I also have an idea for a more glamorous outfit, uh, one more reflecting my Kentation status, uh, the town that I live in, uh, tends to showcase very very glamorous affair very glamorous fitting uh along with some very uh, italian masquerade-esque masks and i think it would be befitting for me to fashion myself with an outfit that reflects the town that i live in i don't know if that would also correspond with my 50 followers but it <laughs> it's honestly gonna be something that I probably decide depending on how long it takes if it's if I reach 50 followers super quickly and I unlock a I think if I unlock affiliates super quickly I think I would definitely keep them separated but if on the off chance uh, if I do reach affiliate really fast then I'll probably move the Cantation outfit out further because that's gonna be, I'm gonna put a lot of put a lot of elbow grease into that fit, uh, mostly design wise. But you know, uh, but those are my goals currently. So I think after stream tonight, I'm gonna update my goals, and I might add a new, I might add another section because I've been wondering if I wanted to to add. Because if you look on this screen, you can see I have. My, my Twitter handle, recent followers, and then there's a gap between myself and recent followers. That doesn't look amazing, but I wasn't super sure if I wanted to add anything there or what to even add. And I think I've decided that I want to add uh, a little goal. Like here, if I, my current goal, here's the, the next thing. And you can read it and say, oh, my, my next goal is uh, a new outfit for myself. And I think that's nice because I, I like having the the goal the current goals up on the screen, but I personally haven't figured out how to make goal like graphics that I don't know that I liked. Oh no! Come on. Okay, that was almost gonna be a problem. Oh, I did not realize how many candles I had. <laughs> uh, fun, fun, fun. Why did all of those burn behind me? <gasps> it's a moth! I'll be your friend. Come be my best friend. Oh. Yay. There we go. Alright. Goodbye. Oh. Hello, friend. I don't know if this is actually a moth or this is a, a smurf account. Par. Where are we going, friend? Where are you taking me? Why is my... I guess the sound wasn't reaching high enough for it. Interesting. I might have to lower the, the sound threshold. I'm gonna unlatch hands. I got places to go. People see. I got business to take care of. You know what? Actually, no. If the if people start giving me complaints that the sound is too loud, I'm 
trying to forget what the what the, would be the. But I, I think it's fine. I think I just need to make sure to project. And if people start saying I'm too loud, then I'll start to do some adjustments. But I think I just, if I'm not seeing my model react, then I need to just start speaking more, speaking louder. It's a good, it's a good little reminder to speak and enunciate. So the problem with this area is not necessarily can I get to the end, and it's more that is the game, is this area not going to bug out and prevent me from the game? Because I've, I've, this area is just, it, it's been bugged since launch, and this game's been around for four years, so I don't imagine they're going to be really looking to, to fix it anytime soon. I don't think they care. I don't think they even know how. I'm going to, I'm going to put that, uh, I'm gonna put that theory into the universe. I don't necessarily think that the game company knows how to fix the problem with this area because it's been it's been bugged since launch, and any time in these main areas they've tried to implement something new, it's kind of bugged out completely. They don't even have shard events happen in the forest anymore because it just kept having bugs. Which, you know what? I think is smart. I haven't run into a shard event I think since. I think since the that event ended when the shards were oh shoot um I think like actively dying where are you dead little guy I'll 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 help you I, I'll use wing light to get to you oh. Why are you walking into hell? What does happen if you walk into hell? It comes back? Whoa! Whoa! That's kind of cool. I've I've never had the the balls to learn what happens when you you run out when you're not in Eden, and I guess there's a fail safe. Uh, I am also going to be. Uh, I'm gonna just pop one of these real quick because I don't feel like losing uh, stuff right now. Because that's the one thing. Is this this challenge? Sure. Don't use winged light. Don't use winged light to make your life easier. Unless someone's dying. Uh, was pretty clear this person is actively trying to die, but that's fine. If it's to hopefully prevent someone from having a bad day, then I will use the winged light. So right now I'm just gonna recharge real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get hit by the rain anyway. That's fine. Phone keeps going off. If I if you can hear my phone beeping, let me know, cause I can I can I can set it on do not disturb, but I am not. I think we're fine right now, having it. Okay, I mean, let these jellyfish start to populate, because I don't know I'm, if they're actually below me yet. We are 16 away from the next level. I smacked the mic. Forgive me, that was probably not the greatest audio in the world. Okay, so we've got this jellyfish. We've got this jellyfish. Come on, catch me, catch me. Okay. This is an interesting little game. Welcome to a game of jump across all of the jellyfish. What is... What event was happening? I guess something... What is happening? I'm gonna be careful. I can't... can't make any moves when there's a skip up. 
Or let's make it locked. Okay. Doing good. Good. Okay. These last two jumps are not gonna be great. Okay, and we're good, and we're good. I just realized that I'm essentially playing every level as if I'm doing a challenge level, which is a fun way to look at it. The There was an event a long time ago uh, during my break from Sky where you can enter these levels that were specifically these challenge levels and you would not have your cloak. And you would go through and try and clear these challenges without being able to fly at all. You could jump, but you couldn't fly. And the first one was a, it's like a water level where you're trying to navigate platforms while water is going up and down. And if you are in the water when it goes up, it will just kill you. And how do I get up here? I think I need to go. I've never had to actually do this before. This is interesting, because now I'm... When you traverse the game with the winged light, you're able to bypass a lot of stuff that's built in. But when you play it like this, you actually get to see the thoughtfulness in the level design. Actually, I'm going to use some wing light right now to... I want, I want this candle. This is fine. This isn't me progressing, this is me just... Oh my god, I am not... I've, I've been in this area before and I always seem to have trouble with these platforms. I don't quite know why. What in the world is happening? And we're melting and we're melting. There we go. That was frustrating. Okay. Alright, let's go through this section, I guess. And how do we get up there? Get some walking. Bung, bung, bung. Gotta get there. There we go. My arm is, I'm resting my arm on my coffee table right now, and it, it got a little too pressed. Oh. I had a feeling I was on the edge of that, and I stopped myself at just the right moment. Big old stretch. There we go. Here we go. Now the time to pray. We must pray and remember our sins. Yada yada yada. I I'm Woody. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Yes, yes, I know. This guy is the one that loves the stars. I mm, love him. Come on. Let's see if we can get around. There we go. Oh, these cutscenes take forever. I wish there was a, a, a skip button, not that skip between the different segments of the cutscene, but just skip this cutscene in general. I think I've been through here. I was here on Wednesday after Eden, so I think I've gotten, yeah, I've got the, the wing light all tucked up. There's only one in this area. I think the candle. What are you? Oh, you're just telling me how much is left to go. What is... Anything in the shop right now? No? Okay. 
I heard someone say that the Bloom event is currently active, but I haven't seen anything. And... And I typically try to not look at what's online. Yeah, they just pick me up. But yeah, I try not to look online to see much about the upcoming events. I like to remain pretty surprised. I like to not... I like to not have, like, a full understanding of what we're about to jump into. But ever since I roped some friends in... I finally roped some friends in to also play. And they, they more just play with, like, each other. Uh... They, they hang out more often than I, but uh, we have like a, a, a side chat in Discord where we discuss like, the upcoming events and like what's going on and just guy in general. And they all post videos of people like in the beta who talk about what's up and coming. And that's not quite. I don't quite do that. I don't look for that kind of stuff. Not because it's bad or anything, but because I, I kind of just like to experience this game as it comes i i find that if i get too bogged down into game betas i can very easily become disappointed in what's up to come because i can start to make my own ideas and then i get i get too excited and i'll come up with something that i think is going to be better than what actually happens and then it just makes me a little sad uh it's just something about me that i have to deal with you know, we love the we love the brain and its ways. Uh, I have a lot of confidence about the Valley of Triumph up until the very end of it, because this whole level is about going down sand dunes. This whole level is the, well, is the the natural level when you're first going through it, it's all about sliding, and it's all about these sand races, which is a very direct reference to their first, not first game, uh, to their more popular game, Journey. There is a whole level where you're just sliding down really quickly. Uh, right, go. Uh, and the, the races... They're not my favorite thing in the world, but they're they're there, and they're a good way to get uh, a good way to get a uh, candle if you're needing it. I think there's more if, there's better ways to get candle in the day, but it's a good way to get some candle. Uh, this is a complete tangent, but you ever just get a really intense craving for pizza? I just had a very sudden urge for Papa Murphy's pizza. And I'm not going to get some tonight because I want to keep working through my own food uh, that I have here. Because I have enough. And I, I need to stop ordering food and I need to start actually getting through the food I have at home uh, before I order more food. Because I, I keep doing that. Because I have food. Which is, you know, I'm not going to complain about having food. But... I keep ordering more gro I keep getting more groceries when I still have plenty of stuff to get through. Like I I order daily harvest and I got some before uh like the December break. And I, I got a, a, a decent bit and I worked through it. But I knew coming back I was like, oh I'll have I'll have uh I'll have some daily harvest. I still have some. I have a a couple harvest bowls and I think a soup and I've got a just a couple things and I just have ingredients in my fridge and then stuff in the pantry but pantry is more like ingredients for bigger things and I got noodles and whatnot I've got, I've got all this stuff to make food with and then I think to myself, oh, well, I want to make some very specific dishes that require me to get ingredients from the store. So then I get ingredients, and then I get more stuff on top of it. And so I keep getting in this weird limbo of having food in my fridge that I need to start getting through, and then I just keep punishing with more food. And the reason why it's a problem is because I might be moving out in a couple months. 
I, I'm gonna be in between jobs at the end of March, and it's because of the state of the job that I am in and the fact that I'm trying to find a different job as well, means that I could, in theory, be needing to maybe move towns, maybe move states. It's completely unclear. I'm completely in the dark as to what might happen. I'm actually currently looking at a job uh, up north uh, for where I am currently at, which, if I got it, it would be amazing. It'd be the, the, a significant financial upgrade to what I'm currently doing. Uh, it'd be a long shot for me to get it, but it'd be cool. But regardless, I don't want to move with a bunch of food, much less frozen food. Uh, so I need to start getting through stuff. I need to stop buying more groceries until I start actually whittling down the groceries I currently have. I do want hummus, though. That's, <laughs> that's the one problem. <laughs> I do want hummus. Uh, I need a... I need a straight back. These, uh, hotkeys are not fun. I've got stuff in my hands. But yeah, I, uh... I do want hummus. I, I like, a week ago... I got red pepper. Because I was thinking, oh, I'll, I'll have this red pepper and I'll cut it up and I'll dip it into the hummus. Well, I didn't realize how little hummus I had left. I think I only have a little bit left. But... I've got this pepper that I'm not going to cook because then it gives me an IBS if I have it cooked. Uh, but I just got stuff in the fridge that I get food. I need that. There's a dish. I forget what it's called. It's like... It's not takoyaki. It's like tamoyaki. I don't think that's the right one, but essentially... It's this, it's a Japanese dish where it's, it's like noodle and cabbage and egg and flour. It, it's just all this stuff and you cook it in layers. Normally you cook it on a flat top, but you can cook it in a pan without like, a problem. Uh, and it's just this big stack of stuff uh, that you put sauce on and it, it looks really good. And it's one of those dishes where if you're watching someone make it, you keep thinking that, oh, that that's it, that's the last step. And then they put another thing, another layer on top of it. And you think, oh, that's probably it. And then they put another layer on top of it. And by the end of it, you're just like, oh, what, what happened? I hit some ice cream. Sorry, I clicked something on the screen and it, what is this? I don't think you can see it, but. The screen is just being weird. I think I clicked something. Ah, that's why. Oh, God. I have... One second. All of my... Oh, God. I hope this was not... I'll have to check the stream later, but... <laughs> oh, my God. Everything got... Yeah, everything got duplicated in the whole like mess when I was working around with my with the source with the uh, the with my PNG tube or with a Veto tube. I accidentally just duplicated all of my sources twice on the screen. Uh, so I think that was what's happening because yeah, I'm not supposed to be able to click anything on the screen right now. Okay, we should be fine. I'm definitely going to look at my VOD later to see what happens. I actually make a, a marker. There's something I should be able to do. I make like a, a marker. Right? I really see. Apologies for this very professional stream. Uh, edit stream info. Can I make a stream marker? I'm going to stream marker. Yeah, I'm going to check that later. Let's see. Everything looks good here. Okay. Apologies for that weird little delay. Uh, let me get this candle real quick. 
And this is what I was talking about earlier. Normally, this would be a stairwell. But ever since the Aurora event, it's now a ledge. And it's not one that I think I can just jump up. Okay, I stand corrected. I was completely wrong. I can completely jump up it. We're good. We are completely good. I'm also impressed by how... I don't... Th quickly is not the right word, because it's been roughly an hour to get through four sections of me moving through it without, like, serious intent. But I am getting through it reasonably well and that was even with the the delay in the woods as well and we're jumping we're getting candles there we go okay did i miss something i missed some stuff there's a lot of uh winged light that i'm missing but i also have a fair amount of winged light, so I'm not hurting for it. After all these years, I have accrued quite a bit of, uh, I don't know what the word for it would be, but uh, when you ascend spirits the first time, not the second time. Oh, oh, <laughs> things are not going well. Things are not going well for my little moth. <laughs> this is this is what happens. Uh, this is your brain on crack. <laughs> Good times. Uh, by the way, if y'all are watching and not feeling up to chat but are interested in engaging with the stream, uh, oh, that's what's wrong. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, you're not doing too good, are you? Ooh, I'm gonna make a video with that and share it later. <laughs> oh no, oh buddy, what's wrong? What's wrong, friend? I'm gonna clip that real quick and I'll do some with it later. Uh, I've actually never used a clip function, so I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll see. It shouldn't open up my browser, hopefully, because then that's gonna be a problem. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, that's a... I completely forgot what I was talking about before all of that happened. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, yes, if you are not feeling like chatting today, but are still interested in interacting with the stream in some regard, if you scroll down below, I have sound alerts enabled. It should be a panel along with other panels down there. And you can redeem uh, little sound alerts. Uh, no bits activated currently for any of them, uh, simply because I am not at affiliate. Bleh, I can say words. I'm simply not at affiliate levels yet. Don't mind the big fish over there. I'm not at affiliate levels yet, so I cannot activate bit redeeming along with having subscribers. Uh, in the future, I will be adding bits specifically ones but those are going to be more louder lo those are going to be longer ones uh most of the ones that are currently up are short ones uh and because i like that aspect so if you want to slam a couple of those or if you just want to leave me a lurk uh feel free you are absolutely uh i absolutely love being able to have people hanging out even if you're not chatting just want to drop an alert to let me know that you're hanging i would love to see that uh and if you are want to vibe but you're not really interested in listening to the stream i recommend you just mute the tab that you have the stream in as opposed to muting the stream itself that allows for twitch to still record your presence uh, and it helps my algorithm out a little bit which is appreciated and who doesn't love the game system? I know I do. Ah, uh, to crash land. Hmm. 
Now, I'm not worried in a sense of technical ability to get through the Golden Wasteland. That's not my concern. My concern is dealing with the Krill. Uh, just that one fun section is going to be a lot. And I'm not going to go around Crab Alley because I think that that would be against the spirit of this because I've been sticking to the main paths. And I th I think that going through, going through the Crab Boats would be easier than going through the Graveyard, but I would think that would be against the spirit of this challenge somewhat. Yo. If anyone has any recommendations for what I should nab for dinner, though, do let me know. I don't. I have some leftovers right now, and I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna have the brain power to cook. I might, but if anyone has any suggestions, let me know in the chat. I would very much enjoy getting something either tonight or tomorrow. I haven't eaten out in a bit, so I'd definitely be warranted. <gasps> Ye the heck was that? Okay, that was weird. I didn't use anything. I think that was just butterflies nabbing my butt. Calm before the storm. Certainly nothing's about to go wrong. Actually, I'm gonna real quick. Sources. I'm gonna turn off this real quick. I'm actually gonna real quick change. These hotkeys. Shift, shift, shift. Okay. We're good. We are good. I changed all of my hot keys from control presses to shift presses because, you know what? I don't know what all in the future I'm going to be doing, but anything that's a control press is trying to achieve an action, and anything that is a shift press is trying to achieve an uppercase letter. And I don't mind it if I maybe have to fiddle with some letters uh, as opposed to having to deal with that fun uh, duplicating all over again. What are you looking at? It's not me, so there's no reason for that. Oh, just play that first section again. Interesting. Okay. I somehow missed that, or it just replayed it because I haven't past the threshold for it yet. Let's see here. What can I get through? I don't know where the Krill currently is. I don't think it's even spawned yet. Not having it spawned yet. What a wuss. Thing was slow as hell. There we go. On to my favorite section of the game, the graveyard. Normally I go through this section by just flying overhead, not having to deal with it. It's very, very nice that I have to deal with it. Uh, but now I'm going to walk. Uh, as I head into my Forsaken Doom, uh, for all y'all who are here on this Friday evening, happy to have you here. Uh, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, I would absolutely appreciate it if you drop me a follow. 
that allows me to pop up in your algorithm more readily and should enable you to start getting notifications if you have Twitch on your phone. And it also helps bring me closer to affiliate too, which is something I would love to get by the end of this year. What is happening? What are you looking at? Okay, you're not looking at me, so that's fine. But yeah, please drop me a follow if you are interested. Absolutely no pressure if you do not want to, but just something that I want to let you know. And if you want to keep up with me, with my schedule, and just what I'm doing in general, listed down below is my Twitter. You can see my handle on screen currently. Uh, but I chat every once in a while on there. Sometimes I'll post art as well. And I will typically give a yell for any anything happening on my schedule outside of my usual one day stream, Wednesday streams. Looks like it's not gonna be too bad getting through this section actually. Fuck. Okay, we're dead. I don't think anyone died. Oh good, by the way. This guy's gonna give me problems. Hello friend. Nope, no, 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 back. 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 Nah. I think I'm actually gonna change the expression a bit. I think I, I think I wanna change the eyes up somewhat, but that instinct to fly kicked in. And that means we must go back and recharge. Illegal, illegal actions. Let's go. Ugh, this muck, this muck is gross. So this is a very good thing to keep in mind for why it's going to be difficult if anybody wants to do no flying in this section, but is a newer save file. If you don't have enough winged light, you might start... You might get just, you know, chomped on by the, the murky water. But absolutely not a problem getting through i am once again shocked i think it's safe to say that if i is this i'm sorry is this grass what is what's happening Oh, I think there's a shard. I think there might be a shard right now that's causing this red light. That's probably it, yeah. Because it, 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 it looks like grass for a bit, but that's because we're having the contrast of the red sky. The sky is normally a, a murky black color, which ends up making the ground look more like sand because it blends in, but... When you have a, a light red sky versus a more saturated green ground, it makes it look like grass. And it makes the water look incredibly cool in contrast. This area needs to look like this more often. I don't know if there's a shard event happening right now, but I think probably today it's happening probably here since I'm seeing this coloration happening. I wish shard events were more fun to do, because they're just not. They just take up so much time, and then you're getting maybe a candle or two. It, it is nice for the ascended candles, I will say that. Uh, I will help you. here because that's gonna grow back if I don't 
So, onto the vibes. Uh, my phone is dying. Interesting. Uh, I think we'll be fine for the, the rest of the stream. Um, I don't know who's streaming right now. I think, I think once we wrap up the vault, I'll probably stop for the evening. I wasn't planning on doing a super long stream today. And I'm not doing Eden again, because I know darn well that you don't need, uh, one light for that. Okay, that was... Okay. Back we go. Back we go to what I was originally going to do. Uh, which was get that winged light up there, because I want it. But yeah, once we wrap up the vault, I think I'm going to call the stream there for today, because that was my main goal, was to do this challenge. And I'm pleasantly surprised. It seems so far like... Guac? Guac, it's you! I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's just a past friend that I've made. Uh, come here. Come here, guac. Guacamole. Come to me. Hello. Alright. Is this all my friend? Yes. Alright. I've got places to go. Goodbye. I think this is the most, like, buddy action I've seen in this game in a while. Which is very nice. I, I love a good... I love a buddy day on on Sky. It's nice. I don't engage with the roleplay community uh, that's in Sky at all. It's not really for me. It's not what I'm here for. Uh, so I do enjoy it when I am able to, like, you know, see folk who uh, I've... Uh, made friends with previously uh, who are still kicking around I I took a very long time to realize that when when you fill up your own sky with constellations it's not that you stop being able to make friends it's that they stop populating so for a very long time I had people I just never left light for because I didn't realize that they were not visible to me. So it's a little sad that I have probably missed out on folk who I could have had these little connections with over time. Uh, but, you know, I was gone from the game for a year and it's very comforting to have been able to come back and there are still some familiar uh, folks that I've I saw that are still playing. Uh, I may never get the chance to actually interact with them to any significant degree or interact with any of the community in real life to any degree, but the interactions that I have had, I very much cherish with this game. It's It, it touches on a point that on, I've... I'll maybe go on a rant on this someday, but I have a weird sense of spirituality uh, that I've never really been able to fulfill with anything in life. And this game kind of, it kind of resonates with me in a way that makes that feel less, less of a, a, a sad point. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably save that for a topic today, because uh, that, that's going to be a long-winded uh, and very unfocused rant that uh, is not quite what I'm feeling for doing today. Because uh, today we're on a mission. And I'm also hungry. Uh, and as soon as this is done, I'm either going to grab a snack, start cooking dinner, order dinner, or some combination of both. And I'm not going to get it. If I start going on a rant, I'm going to stop walking around. And that's just going to become me just ranting about something for a while. Alright, we are done with the vault. Woo! This is going so well. I'm, I'm still just shocked at how well this is going. 
big boy time, big boy hours. <laughs> I know they've upgraded those cutscenes in the past, and I, I hope to God someday they update that, because it's always been very strange to see this elder spirit obviously fighting something. And we have now seen cutscenes where people are like actively at war with others. I hope at some point they add little dudes in there for him to be fighting. Just just to have something for him to be doing outside of like air fighting. Okay. Now this section. I don't think this is going to be hard. But because of that, like this is the section I've been least worried about. But now that I'm here, I'm worried that it might not work. I might get stuck. And I've I've been going through all of this stuff on my own, and I 100% could just just kneel and go up the tower. So I know I know for a fact that I could get through the section without having to fly. I wouldn't. I can get through the section without having to do anything at all. But my hope is to be able to. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let these people go. Cause I want to stagger. Cause I want to see what I can do with my own merit. Cause I could just be in the knelt position, and other people could solve the puzzles, and then I would be free. No, this next section is it's not at all using any flight. There's There's a couple sections after these first two where I'm a bit concerned that not flying might render it impossible. But the second section is not gonna be any trouble. Uh though if they don't come with no okay, one person came. There's some steps over here. Maybe that. There's someone, I think they're trying to unlock that room over there. And I'll definitely jump over. Okay. That, that. Up here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, this was completely doable. No one's yelling, so I don't think there's anyone out there. Let me double check. I thought I saw a shape, but no one's yelling currently, which makes me doubtful. Okay. Yeah, no one was here. I want this person to go so I can get my best chances at having no one in the room. Join Mr. Jim here. I'm gonna call it Mr. Jim and Mr. Jimbo. Just need you to, just need you to pop. Yeah, need you to go. How is everyone's Friday, by the way? Everyone's Friday evening. Hope you are having a good evening, or if you have any other plans for the evening, I hope you have a lot of fun. Uh, these people aren't going, so I guess I'm just gonna myself down. How did that take so long? Uh, but yeah, I hope all y'all have any have a fun weekend, or if you have any weekend plans, that they go uh, accordingly, and 
excitingly. What have you. Yeah. Oh. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Hands on your knees and hold to the ground. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. <laughs> I'm looking at my captions and it, it's it's capitalizing duck and cover. So I think it recognizes, or at least maybe that's the name of the song. If you have seen the Iron Giant, you know what I mean. Uh, one of my favorite films. Uh, dang it, okay. So someone's already activated these things and I don't need flight to go to them. So the test, I think It'll be, some, it'll be a quick test. But if I go over here... I should be able to light this up. That will elevate me. And... Wait for it, wait for it, wait. <laughs> I can light that up. And come back. Okay, so this was entirely doable without... Uh, flight. Good to know. And then these I've done plenty of times without having to do anything, so that's good. Okay. I have much higher hopes for this section now. This is much more possible. What was this? I think I saw something about Tala. Ah, uh, okay. No, no Tala right now. Tala's stream. Uh, let me shout her out, actually. I think this is a shout out. Is that what your stream is called? No. What's Tala's, what's Tala's stream called? Let me, see, let me check this. Eh. One moment. I need to... Yeah, where's all my stuff? Ta la 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 la. I want to give you a shout out. Ta la la la. Ta la underscore. Underscore. Shout out. Let me give him a shout out. Is this it? I might not have it set up. It's entirely possible. I'll need to look after this stream to see if that's just something. Are you still going? My clip thing isn't working, I don't think. So. Let's look into that later. There's all sorts of stuff that I can do after this stream. Yeep. 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 Okay. Let me see if I can get these little boys all wrangled up. I need my stream manager. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Bump. Boom. Because how am I going to get to you? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, so I just need to get onto a high enough platform and then jump on over. There's also some. Just in general, the mana rays are not super hard. Oh, there's literally. Okay. So it, was, it felt like there was really nice thermals going on right now. It turns out there's literally. Uh, uh, a spot here for it. Am I tall enough? Oh my. Oh, I'm just like awkwardly floating underneath here. That's why. I have everything. Yeah, we're good to go. I will get the shout out set up later. I need to put that on my Trello to investigate. I don't know what was wrong with the clip. I'll have to see my archive what's happening there. Maybe I just can't clip myself. Maybe that's a thing. No, I doubt it because why would it be on my stream deck if I could? Welcome to me figuring out what's wrong. Ugh. Not allowed. Who is this person? I don't know you. I don't think I know you. 
the very least. This is gonna be a weird one. Cause I, I've i never really hung out around this area before, so I don't fully know the track of this manta ray. Okay, you, and then how about you use my glad I can just walk on you. You're so high up. Oh, you dip your wings down though. Come here. Come on, please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yay! We did it. He's good to go. We got it done. Huzzah. Alright. We're free. Let's do this. I'm actually incredibly pleased. I'm incredibly pleased about this outcome. It appears you can play through this entire main game without having to fly once. I'm incredibly surprised by that and pleased. But last things, last thing to come. Gotta go on a little trip with some, with some mana rays. Who grabbed me? Come here, friend. Pick me up. Yes. One of my favorite parts of the of the game is when you're just on the mana ray and you just slowly rotate yourself around. It's so pretty. Nope. Right. Right. There we go. This was a fun this was a fun challenge. Uh and the amount of people I ran into along the way as well really, really elevated it. I normally just do maybe one or two areas in a day, uh, depending if I'm just doing the event for that day or if I'm also grabbing dailies or if I'm doing something with friends. I normally just do one to two areas, but doing every area in a day is nice. And I, I thought there was a another wing light here, but I might be mistaken. I might be thinking of a different area. I, I am thinking of a different area. I'm thinking of the Manta Garden. I don't know what the section is called in the in the Daylight Prairie, where you unlock the three towers and a bunch of Manta appear. Uh, the very far back one, behind it, there's a winged light that's hiding. And I'm, I, I think I forgot it, which, you know, fun. I'll just have to get it later, whatever. But yeah. Not the end of the world. Nope, I don't want to do a cutscene. Nope, we're not doing a cutscene run. Jeebus. What's this? Oh, just the, the touchdown. So that... That's Eden. We're not doing Eden. <laughs> We're done. We're, uh, we've done this. We've done the run. But that is... All of the main story of Sky without having to fly a single time. Uh, I'm actually, since I'm still here, uh, now that we have flight back, I'm gonna real quick run into the Daylight Prairie because I somehow missed an event candle. I just was not paying attention. That's just, that's on me. Ah, uh, flying.
Darkness is in the vault today. I guess whatever was going on with that one area in the Golden Wasteland was unrelated. Huh. I have noted that that area sometimes will have a, a, a red sky going on. <gasps> Thank you for following round. Uh, let me know if you have a, a name that you prefer. Uh, I call ya. Uh, but thanks for following. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. Uh, we're about to be wrapping up, but I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. And I hope you have an even cooler weekend. Ah, there we go. Alright, now we're done. Alright. That was Sky for the day. That was a no-fly run. Thank you, everybody, who came and watched along. Uh, let me move to my chatting screen real quick. But yeah, uh, thank you, everybody, who stopped by today. I had a lot of fun. This was a bit last second. Uh, but you know what? Last second streams, fun streams. And uh, I'm going to be kicking off this weekend. I'm not going to be streaming this weekend, I don't think. But next Wednesday, uh, pop by around 6 p.m. PST. I don't have a plan yet for what I'm going to be doing next week. But if any of y'all have any ideas, feel free to uh, yell at me on Twitter. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can hang out there. Uh, if you have any ideas for things outside of... Uh, just I've I've currently done uh, Sky and I've done Hades and I have some other games that I'm interested in playing. Uh, I'm also interested in streaming the game Eastward. I bought the game a couple years ago and I haven't touched it, but I am interested in playing it at some point, maybe next week. Uh, but we will see. But thank you everybody who stopped by today, and I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a fun a fun weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, let me let me see who's currently streaming right now that we can raid. I think we have enough for a raid right now. Who is streaming? Um, Satin is streaming. Let me let me let me jump to to Satin real quick. Let me get a setup for that. Let me go here. Let me grab the raid real quick. As I follow, da, 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 da. Sam, let me do that. But yeah, uh, let's get here. All right. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful stream. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Uh, Again, you can check me out here next week, uh, always on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. PST. Might not stream every Wednesday, but check out my Twitter uh, for more specific schedule updates if you want to follow me more closely. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I hope the weather is great for y'all wherever you're at. And have a great time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.